going to look at events and determine if they're mutually exclusive. We're going to use our rules to determine probabilities. So instead of really simple probabilities, they might be a little more complicated. And then this last one says we're going to use Venn diagrams to determine the probability of an event. For those of you who don't like Venn diagrams, not to worry. I'm going to show you how to do it both with a Venn diagram and without. Because I've done another way that lots of people like a whole lot better than the Venn diagram for doing some probability problems. So the big vocabulary in here is mutually exclusive. What do you think it means, other than you can read it up there? Two things that cannot occur at the same time are mutually exclusive. That makes sense, you think? Yeah. The words actually make sense. So we're going to look at a few problems <coughs> and if these two events, each pair of events is mutually exclusive. First pair is being a doctor and the other one is being a woman. Are those events mutually exclusive? I've got some yes and I've got some no's. Which one are we going for? In other words, I'm asking, is, can these things occur at the same time? Yes. If they can, then they are not mutually exclusive. Now that's it. That's the term, not mutually exclusive. What about this one? Being single and being married. Yes. Yes, those are mutually exclusive. People may pretend that they're not one when they are, but you can't be single and be married at the same time. I listen to this show called uh, Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me on Saturdays. It's called Wait, Wait, Don't Tell Me. Don't tell me I'm going to be No, it's, that's actually what it's called. And it's a it's a quiz over usually fairly quirky news stories. So this is the one reminding me. It was a shock to a man when he um, got divorce papers from his third wife. And they said, why was it? And so apparently this had been a news story. Well, it's because his fourth wife opened them and was a little surprised. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, being single, being married, there we go. Actually, these were the ones where I heard about the really stupid burglars. Actually, I think they were armed robbers. Don't remember what country it was in, like Thailand or something. They robbed an armored car. It had $1.3 million in it. They robbed it with a compact car. It could not fit even have the money in their getaway car. So they had to leave most of it. You think you planned that? Apparently they're still looking for them. <laughs> but the fact that they robbed it with an art wasn't even big enough for all the money. You gotta think about this. Being a plumber, being a stamp collector, are those mutually exclusive? No? You can be both? Yeah, you can be a stamp collecting plumber. There's nothing to stop that. Now, I just want to remind several of you that last month sometime, you remember it rained? How many of you remember being out in the rain while the sun was shining? Several of you. Keep that in mind when you do your homework. It can happen. Probability rules. Here's where things get a little dry. There are a bunch of probability rules, guys. You ready? Here they are. First one. The probability of getting a set that has nothing in it is zero. If there's nothing in the set, <coughs> then we have no probability for it. Zero over the total thing. We ran into this, remember, when we were crossing our red snapdragon with our white snapdragon last Tuesday was it? So last Tuesday, and I asked what's the probability of getting red off spring, and you guys all went, there isn't one, because we made our little table and they were all pink, and so it had a probability of zero, because there was nothing in that set of getting the red off spring. So our smallest possible probability is zero. This says the probability of our sample space, that means everything in there that can happen, is equal to one. That should make sense, because remember when we count probabilities, we count the number of things in the set we're talking about divided by the number of things in the sample space. 